Hello. I'm back again. I want to share another experience with you guys. I want to tell you um about a dream I had about giants. Um I had this dream one time that um it's like we was in a big metal field. And uh, me and my brother was talking. We were standing, you know, in the woods talking and we just heard the ground we just heard this boom noise and the ground was kind of shaking and they did the end boom boom it was just making that type of noise so i remember me and him looking at each other and we looked to our left and we seen people running everywhere they were just running you know far away we was looking down the hills and we just seen people just running everywhere. They were just running. And we just seen these tall giants. You know, me and one stood out particular because he had on all black. He had like he had a black hat on. You know, like a cowboy type of hat. And he was kind of skinny, but he was real tall and real big. And they were just walking. And I just remember seeing the people just running everywhere. So, me and my brother took off running, and we ran into this big abandoned house. And when we went in the house, it was a whole lot of other families in there. And they were, like, in sections, part of the houses. Like, they just had all their stuff together, and they were just all, you know, cuddled together with their own different types of families, you know. And I remember I found my family, I walked over there where they were at. And this big giant, it was, we were by a window, and we just seen the giant coming towards the house. I guess trying to, you know, see if there are any people around. And everybody was just ducking down in the house, getting quiet. And I remember holding my baby mouth, and we were just ducking down in the kids. We had the kids with us. And um, we were looking at the giant. He was just, he fell down on the ground. I mean, he was so humongous, like, big. Like, he was a real big giant. And I just remember he was, he fell down on the ground, and he was, like, rolling around in the ground. And it's like he looked up in the house, trying to see. And he was, like, looking like this, you know, doing it. And um, we were just all just hiding and ducking and ducking down so he can't see us. And it felt so real, you know, because... I thought it was real, you know, it felt like a real vivid, like we was living in another life where giants were back, or the giants were coming back, you know, I had other dreams about giants, you know, it was a dream that they was, their bodies was, like, planted in the ground or something, like their bodies was coming out of the ground, and they were just laying on the ground, and their bodies were covered in dirt, but their outer body was, where the top body was sitting on top of the ground, and it was, they were just big, you know, big giants, but they was planted into the ground, like, their bodies, their legs, all this right here was just covered up, you know, and all uh, in dirt, so, um, I had plenty of dreams about giants, I don't know what it means, I did tell you that I had a dream about, you know, I went to this planet where giants were just, it was this big, tall man. He was just hitting people, and people was running like chaos. It was so, oh, it's like your blood boiling. And they were just running everywhere, everywhere around, because they were trying to get away from this giant. You know, I think it was more than one, but the one I seen, he was just tall and big. He had a big, you know, leech, uh, leash or whatever, and he was just hitting people with it. And I was just walking through it. It's almost like nobody didn't see me, but I'm just walking through the crowd. It was real slow, looking around, and it was red. Like, it was dark. It was red. And people just running everywhere in the city, and it was like end of the world type of stuff, you know, it didn't, it wasn't earth, I, I, it felt like it wasn't earth, this was something else, it was somewhere else, you know, it didn't feel like earth, I know, I know, I know earth can be a lot of things, 
but this place, Earth didn't have nothing on this place. This place, they, these people was running everywhere and stuff, and they were mean, mean people. You know, I remember I was, I had this dream once that I went back to that, that world, and when I went back into that world, it's like these men was holding us hostage in our apartment. They was holding us hostage, but I I escaped. I got away. I snuck out the window, and I got away. So I was trying to run to my cousin's house and try to use their phone to call the police. And she she said she didn't want to call the police. She kept on saying, I can't do it. Like like she was saying in the dream, I got to do it. You know, you got to do it. I can't do it. So I got the phone. And I remember hearing the, the operator later on the phone talking. I'm telling her that we're being, you know, hostage in our house and everything. And I remember it switched over from that until uh, now I'm out. It's dark outside and I'm walking in the, on the sidewalk. And I just remember these two dudes, the same two dudes that hot the hell as hostage was also walking out on the streets. And they were just frowned up, just walking around with just frowns on their faces. They were just mean people, you know. And I knew I was in a lower realm where people were so bitter. I mean, I know people are bitter now, but these people were holding grudges. It was like people that were holding grudges. It's like I went into a world where people held in anger, grudge, they had hate in their hearts. They were just mean, you know, mean people. They didn't smile, you know, and these, so I remember I was just walking. So as I'm walking, I noticed them and I was hoping they didn't notice me. So I'm just walking and I remember it's a brown building to the left of me. And it was a garbage, a green garbage dumpster also right there. And I remember I was walking that way because they was walking this way. So I'm walking this way, hoping. And I kept like looking at the corner of my eyes at them because it was both of them. They were walking side by side. They were looking straight ahead, just frowned up. But the other guy that was on the right side, he looked at me. And then oh, it, it, my, I felt my heart. I felt my heart beating so fast and everything. And he he turned his head back again, kept looking straight. Then he looked at me again. You know, I guess because he was looking at me like, I guess I was thinking in my head in a dream, I was thinking he noticed me. He see me, you know. And I was trying to, I was start walking real fast. I didn't even, I, didn't, I just stopped looking at him. I just kept walking real fast. It's like I created a hole in the ground. Like a tunnel. <laughs> I was that afraid that I just, it's like I jumped up in the air and said, boosh. And a big old hole came into the into the ground. And I jumped in it. And once again, I keep having dreams about me jumping in a hole in the ground. That's my escape. You know, that's what I, I, I get away from danger. When I, since danger is coming to me, I build a hole in the ground. And I just jump in it. You know, so I just jumped up in the air. I jumped back down in a big old hole. I ran up on the, uh, I jumped up on the ground and I just started running. And it's like, it was like a big tunnel up on the ground. And I'm just running, looking back, running. I mean, I don't understand these dreams. They're crazy. But it's not, it's not just about, it's a dream. It's the feeling of it. It's like how I feel right now. I feel awakened. I feel alive. I'm conscious, you know, that's the same way I felt there, that I can share those memories, and it's like a memory, I don't look at them as dreams, I look at them as memories, and I'm because it was experience, you know, something that I wouldn't be able to face here, I faced it somewhere else, that someone was chasing me, that these men held us hostage, you know, and it's almost like those, what they mean, that you can face it, you're facing these realities every day, even if you're not seeing it right now and you're having the best life, the perfect life with no danger, you're facing danger somewhere else. You're just not aware of it. And that's what, I think that's what was shown to me, that my life here is good and I feel like I'm being protected here, but at the same time, maybe I'm not protected in another life. I have to face it some, some way, somehow. And that's what's going on. I'm finding out a whole lot of things about myself by, you know, my experience and astral projecting and lucid dreaming and
meditating. I'm still trying to learn how to meditate. I just got to learn how to concentrate. But uh, I'm going to get there. And I'm going to make more videos. So hopefully y'all be looking at my videos. Hope you like it. If you don't, still leave comments. I feel free to any kind of thoughts. And just let me know what you like. Keep your imagination alive and awakened because that's where we come from. Bye.